Okay guys, here's a quick video on how to set up PC Tattletale uh, to work on one computer. So this would be if everybody in the house uh, just kind of shares the same computer. Uh, the first thing you need to know before we get started is PC Tattletale is actually uh, made to work in two pieces. You have the, the first part, the recording piece that you go and uh, you put on all the different computers you want to watch. And then you have the second piece, um, which is uh, actually viewing the computers. Uh, I made a separate video on how to install the recording piece. I'm going to try to put a link to it in the uh, video notes on this video. But if you haven't watched that, make sure you watch the first video on how to install the recording piece. And when you do that, your screen's going to look something like this. You're going to have your computer. It's going to say monitoring active. And just make sure you've done that step, okay? All right, so installing the viewer is actually pretty simple. You say, watch them from your computer, and you just click this uh, link right here. Install viewing app on your computer. Okay. Now, before we want to uh, install this, I do want to show you something. You're going to want to go into Control Panel if you haven't done this already. And this works the same in Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. They all pretty much work the same. You're going to want to go under User Accounts. And I'm going to pick User Accounts here. And you're going to want to make sure uh, that you have your own Windows sign-in account. And I'll explain why that's important in just a second. And then for your kids, uh, you can either make the, uh, an each individual for each kid or just a, a generic account for your kids. You're going to want to set them up with their own account. And I'd recommend you set them up as a limited uh, access account. Um, if you haven't set up your computer this way, uh, you can tell everybody in the family you got a new family policy. You just watched a video on the internet and you want the computer to run more safe and secure. And that's the God honest truth. The nice thing about uh, the guest accounts is that uh, they really kind of lock down the computer. So there's just not a lot your kids can do to break the computer, like uh, downloading software they shouldn't or, or getting into websites that can infect it. So it's a great way to add some security to your computer. And it's going to make a lot more sense in a second. So since you have your own account and we're going to install PC Tattletale, it's going to set up a lot of uh, shortcuts and things so you can get to it. But the nice thing about it is you're going to be the only one who can see these shortcuts. The other people that sign into the uh, computer under their accounts, they're not going to see anything about PC Tattletale. They're going to have no idea um, that you're able to see what they're doing. So. Once you've got that set, um, you just click uh, Download Viewing App, and it's going to download right here, and you just run it or hit Open, and hit Run, and I am going to pause the video right here and come back after it runs through the installation. Uh, it's just a normal Windows setup installation like any other software um, you've used before. Okay, we're back. Uh, the software installed, and when it did, uh, what it wants me to do is just sign in uh, to my PC Tattletale account. So I'm going to do that now. And I'm just going to sign in. And it should happen here in just a second. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now PC Tattletale, it's um, recorded stuff from my account, which is actually called Camtasia. Uh, that's the one we're using right now. And then it also recorded activity from Jill, which is our uh, fictitious kid we're watching here. Um, if you don't want PC Tattletale to record what you're doing, just press this stop recording button and it will not record what you do. Uh, I'm going to leave that on for now, and to see what Jill's been doing, we just click on this screenshot here. And there we go. It says, use the slider below to view their activity, and that's this uh, slider bar right down here. We can see this is at 10.01 uh, a.m., and we see a nice uh, screenshot of what she did. So if I go off the slider now, it kind of disappears so I can see the full screen. Hopefully that makes sense to you. And all you do is you take the slider down here and just scroll it. And as you do, I can see the time change. And there's really not a lot of activity here yet, but you'll get a feel for it. Uh, what's really nice about this slider is as they go into sites like, uh, like Pinterest, for example, you, you may not be really interested in what she's uh, doing on that site. So you can kind of drag the slider a lot faster and move through all that 
but uh, if she's on Facebook or, or doing emails or that sort of thing, you can uh, slow the scroll bar down. Uh, and it's done just by dragging it. It's uh, real easy to get used to. And it's a great way to uh, get through hours of recording time in just a couple minutes. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we give you a, a save button here. You can just click that if you want to save one of the screenshots. And you can just save it out to um, look at it later. Uh, PC Tattletale is automatically going to delete this stuff uh, after a couple days to a week, depending on, um, on how much they use the computer. And it's also going to start segmenting out the video uh, as you get more recorded. You don't see that right now because uh, we've only got a couple screenshots in there. So that's really about it. It's, uh, it's actually really pretty easy to uh, get going with. Uh, the only trick to it is to remember to uh, make sure you have your own Windows sign-on account. I am uh, going to make another video soon to show you how to um, uh, view someone else's computer, which really isn't much harder, but it, it is a little bit different. Um, and hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, if you have any problems getting this working, uh, make sure to use the uh, contact us up here and just let us know what kind of problems you're having and we will get it working for you. Hope you enjoyed the video.